Hey guys, Tech Neighbors here. Uh, in this video, we're going to real quickly go over a problem I've been having with one of the review printers that's been sent to me. They sent me two copies of this printer, and one of them runs fine, but the other one has this issue. Um, makes me a little bit leery, but if you have any idea what it could be, please let me know in the comments down below. Hey guys, Tech Neighbors here. I was going to play Guess That Printer with this guy right here. But I'll just let you know right now, it's an Anet ET4. They sent me two of these as well. Um, I'm actually going to have the unboxing and the review up for this guy uh, before the Anet 8 Plus. Uh, I've really been enjoying playing with this thing. Uh, and it's got a lot of bells and whistles, which we'll get into later. My reason for making this video is... Uh... Well, check this out. So here's the power button. Okay, I flipped it, nothing, okay, off, on, nothing, okay, off, now watch this, nothing, and it's on. Uh, <laughs> Explain that to me. For some reason, this thing will only turn on when I set it at 90 degrees. Once it's on, it stays on. Okay. Uh, I initially thought it was the power cable. I switched it out with the other power cable because the other base unit had the same problem when I first hooked it up. Uh, none of the power cables were working. Finally, I had it tipped up, took the bottom off, plugged it in, and came right on while it was on its side. I have since set that one down and turned it on and off several times. It works just fine. This one, for some reason, uh, will not turn on while it's sitting flat. I have to turn it on its side, which is stupid and really makes me leery about the wiring in here. So uh, I've checked all the connections underneath and we can take a look if you'd like. But there's really... Oh, I should probably turn it off first. Hang on. I'll turn it off. Let it power down. And... And it's up on its side. So we can take a look here. Now, this printer is a little bit different. Like I said, I'll get into this when we do the review and stuff. But it has a touchscreen LCD, which is here. Um, and then a lot of its wiring is back here on the actual x-axis because there's a lot of extra hookups there uh, But everything in here is solid and pretty tight um, Nothing is loose like Here, let me close that again. I open that out of habit um, So if I hold the spool still You don't hear any rattling or clinking or, or nothing's loose um, so I just I don't understand why this thing won't turn on unless it's on its side and I'm really hesitant to leave it running for any amount of time until I figure out exactly what that problem is like I said the other one turns on and off just fine it's got no problems um, but I really really am, am enjoying using the other printer so I want to get this one going like I said, I just don't trust that that is doing that. So uh, if you have any idea why it might do something like that, uh, I'd appreciate the comment down below. I mean, you can see that it is on the right side. So basically the power unit is vertical. That um, shouldn't really affect anything. I mean, it's not like there's a, a gyroscope in here detecting which way it's turned. So... Um, and then setting it on its side is not making anything make contact because I have literally checked all of the contacts uh, to make sure that they're solid and nothing is loose. So, uh, yeah, it's a mystery. Uh, that's it for this video, guys. You'll see a lot more of this guy coming up. Just like I said, I'm really, really enjoying using the other one. Uh, but for right now, this one is going to remain out of commission until I figure out what's going on. As always, this channel is brought to you by the Spine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous.
that's gonna be it for this video as always i am technivorous and thanks for watching don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month so far we've given away things like a capricorn ptfe tubing kit and spools of filament so the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page so all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest feel free to check out this video right here youtube picked it from my content just for you and if you haven't already you can hit the subscribe button right here so what are you waiting for become a technivore now thanks again technivorous out